Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Thursday, August the 22nd. Thursday, August the 22nd. Well, I could tell by the fact that we didn't go to the scene of Molly confronting Christina and Alexis about the paperwork. She did not. She walked away, meaning she's got all this pent up, bottled up anger inside of her. Okay, is there. So she um, tries to hold it up through the wedding. TJ's family is, you know, comforting her and him, but, you know, mainly her, I mean, him. And Molly sees Alexis and <clears throat> Sam, the actress Lindsay, I don't know, I forget Lindsay's last name. She plays Sam when Sam is out. She actually plays a very good Sam. She really does. I would not mind them giving her another character. I mean, if Lulu's waking up, make it Lindsay. Because she and uh, Dante actually work well off of each other. I could see her being Lulu, right? So unless Sam is the, the actress is like going to be vacating the role, then this is a perfect Sam, but... Just to have her waiting in the wings? No. But anyway, let's get back to the topic. So Alexis and uh, Sam walk in with Christina. Molly's looking at him come in. And she's just watching. And Christina is, you know, sees the little casket and is very, you know, dazed. I mean, clearly by it. And she's sitting there. And um, what well, she's not sitting there. They go to sit down and Molly's like, I got to get some air. She goes out of the uh, chapel or church and she's in the courtyard and she hears a voice say, Molly, and it's her father. She looks up and she's like, dad. And he says, I'm sorry, I'm late. My plane got delayed. She goes, I'm so happy you're here. I feel all alone. And that statement would ring 100% true. Alexis is having to console Christina. And TJ's family is consoling TJ, even though they do hug Molly too. And Alexis hug Molly too, but she's there with Christina. Molly had no one. So... It was great. I was happy to see her father was able to sit there and he's sitting next to her while TJ's mother is sitting next to him. Great. Right? So the the minister does the, or, or the priest does the service and Jordan was supposed to speak first. You know, we're going to hear from the baby's grandmother, Jordan Ashford. And Christina just, I have something I want to say and stands up and Jordan was already standing up and she's like, oh, whoa, she sits down. And TJ and Molly look and Alexis is like, uh oh, right? She gets there and she tells her baby journey story. How I just want you all to know about her as I knew about her. I knew her likes. I knew, you know, when she was happy. Oh, Christina, just because don't nobody know that baby more than her. And I'm not going to get critical because she was the baby's mother. Like TJ was the baby's father. Fathers grieve as well for the loss of a child, but in reality, and I'm just going to only say that uh, subjectively from my opinion, the mother grieves more because we actually were the one with that little life in our body. We felt the hiccups every day once, once they got to be a certain age. You know, we felt the rolls, the elbows, the knees, the head. We felt all of that. 
the fluttering and and the father doesn't get a chance unless you happen to catch it and you're able to put his hand externally on your belly. And that brings him all this joy, yes, but you feeling it from the inside, inside your body while it's happening is different. It's a deeper connection or a, a profound connection. I'm not gonna say deeper, profound connection between a mother and a baby growing inside of her. So I'm not going to judge Christina's actions. You know, the ceremony is over. Molly and TJ are trying to hold it together. You know, they were, everybody's supposed to go gravesite. And as Christina's talking, Molly is just like, you witch with a B, you were planning on keeping my baby. That's the look Molly was giving her, right? Just looking. And TJ's just looking like, shut up and sit down. And Stella gets up there. And the great thing is, of course, Stella is basically talking to Molly and TJ, but Stella acknowledges Christina and her loss. See, she's a true diplomat. She does, okay? Okay. So when it's time for everybody to get up and go to the gravesite, Christina just breaks down in her seat and Alexis is holding on to her. Oh, she's just boo-hoo, just boo-hooing, right? And I think it was at the house Christina had told Alexis that she had named the baby. She was calling the baby Adela. She just knew, I knew I was having a girl. Well, that's kind of one thing, I, me, I'm being pregnant five times, uh, but I only have four living children. Uh, told you I had a miscarriage. Um, as much as I wanted a girl, each and every time, I'm, you know, I'm just a girl person. I wanted a girl, have three boys, one girl. Do you know all three? I was wishing and hoping but not enough because I didn't know. And back then, I mean, my children are 42, actually 44, 42, you know, they're older. Um, and you didn't necessarily know the sex of the child unless you did a special blood test that cost a lot of money. Um, so you didn't know unless that, you know, ultrasound, which was in the, not in the stage it's in now, kind of caught the boys with their legs wide open and you could quite clearly see, right? So I had, you know, you have names for girls and boys. And I never settled in on a girl's name because I just never just knew it was a girl. I, you know, I just, so, but anyway, she told Alexis, she was calling her Adela. And I thought, hmm, it did not dawn on me, everybody, till later, Adela is Sonny's mother's name. She was going to not only keep her sister's baby, but name her her father's mother's name. Mm. Wow. That would have went over very well with the father, TJ. Yes. <laughs> you know. So anyway... Um, they go graveside. Willow was hit hard, of course. She told Michael she can't go to the to the graveside. And he goes, no, I, I completely understand. Let's go somewhere else. They go to, um, no, what was Jonah's website? I mean, graveside, Jonah's graveside, which was, I, I could see that it was appropriate. And, you know, Willow's grief was well, real. And Michael's was real because remember when he thought Jonah was his, he grieved that little boy. So that was fitting for them. But everybody laid their flowers down and um, Christina is laying her flower down and everybody hugged TJ and Molly after they laid their flower down. Christina was the last to go. Um, everybody had laid theirs. Christina still has her, had hers, and everybody was kind of congregating off, you know, as if Christina wasn't a part of that, laying her flower down. So Christina laid her flower down, and she goes, you're going to be missed. 
my little Adela. And Molly turned, because see, Christina didn't say it. She wasn't yelling it, but oh, she said it loud enough for anybody that wanted to hear here. TJ looked. Molly said, what did you call my baby? And Christina looked, she goes, because that is not her name. Her name is Irene. And Christina says, you all didn't even name her until today. I had to call her something. And Molly said, no, you didn't. You didn't have to call her something. Right? And so she goes, especially since you are the reason she is not here today. And it's like, whoa, 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 Molly, you know, she, um, what did she say? She goes, no, well, that's not, that's not true. She goes, you never should have been in that hotel room. I had to go. Ava was trying to subpoena me. See, now we're taking the funeral, turning it into something else. She was trying to make me testify against my father. And so Molly said, so in order to, she goes, it was your job to protect my baby, our baby. You chose to try to protect your father at the sacrifice of our baby. And Christina's looking, she's getting ready to say, something. Molly is like, oh no, I'm, and Rick is like, whoa, whoa, what? Sonny protects, you know, see, you know how Rick is with his brother. That's going to happen again. So now the conversation is not done. It's, they're probably going to today, get tomorrow, get some heated stuff there at the burial. And maybe that's where Mar Molly's going to blat it. See, she's going to, because now enough is enough with her. And she, sh we'll see. I'm not going to pass judgment on anybody. Unfortunately, funerals and weddings get to be sticky situations a lot of the time. You know, we have Cody talking to little James, explaining why Mac was so mad. I fast forwarded most of that. Lois was nervous going on heart and health. But she had broken nail and she never does anything with a broken nail, but she managed Haven actually pulled her out of it. And they end up being a dynamic duo. And Lucy, I mean, not Lucy Lois ended up being a hit, which we knew she would. She ended up being a hit. Sonny tried to convince Ava to come with him so he could protect her. And she's like, no, you're trying to get me out of here to kill me. And he said, Ava. If I wanted to kill you, this would not be how I would do it. <laughs> you know, he meaning I would have my men kidnap you and then kill you. I'm not going to come. The gallery has surveillance. He, he goes, Jagger, now that he has your statement, he's, his main goal is coming after me. He's going to eliminate you. Because you gave him what he wanted. He's never been on your side. And, and Ava's thinking, oh, my God, I know I've been feeling the same way. I, I might. But she knows Sonny's vindictiveness and how what he does when he hates someone. So she's like, no, no, I'm leaving, but I'm not leaving with you. He goes, Ava, I'm the only one that can. No, Sonny, I'm not going to leave with you. And then Jagger comes in. Get away from her comes in with an officer. I'm taking under, her under protective custody. And Sonny says, you're not taking her anywhere. And it was like, look, look, everybody just calm down. She tells Sonny, I'm going to go with him. And he goes, I'm telling you, that's the wrong move. So Ava ends up going with uh, uh, Kate's. And we shall see what's going to happen with that. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I do not have time for Comment Corner. Please, please, please go to each other's 
uh, read each other's comments, reply, like each other's comments, get that conversation going in comment corner. We already have 57 comments. Bring that up to 100, and I'll be back for another daily recap of General Hospital.